This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest and the best entertainment stories. And of course, very interesting personalities as well. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my interesting co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olua Oshunke. Osha! <laughs> what was that? It's some South African thing. Do you say again? Huh? No, I'm not doing Or Wosa. Is it a Wosa or Wosa? It's Wosa or Wosa. I used to date a South African girl. She used to live in South Africa. Good yeah, well, mm -hmm. well, she says, whoa, sha! Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's our interesting intro. But moving on, entertainer and politician Banky W and media personality Ebuka Obi Uchendo are contributing their quota in feeding um, people in Lagos State. Good job. During this lockdown, as they feed 650 people in Leki, Oniru, and Mawa Aziz on Thursday. In a Twitter message on Ebuka's Twitter page, he said, um, Thanks to everyone who supported the Leki Food Bank um, COVID 19 lockdown initiative, 650 free meals distributed. Banky W also took to Twitter to thank all the residents who donated their money and volunteered their time. He said this will be done every lockdown day by God's grace. Mm. Very commendable. So can you see mm. that not everyone is vulnerable in this period? Not everyone. And that the ones that are not can help as well. Because you people on this table like to do it like, as if no, everybody's going through yeah, something. You, 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 you've been missing the point. You've been missing the point. Do you understand? Okay. We're not saying that um, everyone is vulnerable. We're just saying that we're all entitled to, uh, what's it called now, palliative. And I'm saying, that's realistically it. speaking, that's still BS because we don't have enough for everyone. So if as you can't, a citizen of Nigeria, mm -hmm. it's your entire. It's like where is the money coming from? Where is the, what are we entitled to? Something that doesn't exist. That's the money. Stop saying there's no money. This is what makes the government keep acting a fool. Because <laughs> you keep saying, saying there's no money. Yeah, because this, this, this is the like, money. This is not about the government. Let's focus on the people that are spearheading an initiative to feed those that are exactly. vulnerable and say thank you. And the good, it's good to note that they are... Should I just... Well, I already said it, they spearhead the initiative, but this is a contribution of... Um, um, residents um, in Lekki and they decided to take care of the people I around witnessed there. this so yesterday. You collected? No, I said I witnessed. Okay. On my way home, I still saw, but I did not know it was Ebuka and uh, Banky W. But now that I saw the story, it all made sense to okay. me because they had the whole Mopo thing with them. Well, I mean, it's not Ebuka and, and Banky W. It's a lot of people. They're not the only yeah, they, ones. Yeah, no, they had people They are the who ones donated. pushing they the initiative. They are the ones pushing and, the initiative yeah. and they were on the street as well. Mm. Because when I was going home yesterday, I think around the, um, what's it called, Chisco, Ikate access, I saw um, a lot of people running after them and then they had the mopos and they were actually shooting in the head to dispatch the, the crowd, crowd and mm -hmm. all of that. Mm -hmm. So it had to be people, that very important, mm. do you understand? So now that I saw the story, I was like, oh, so that was able to banky yesterday, you understand? So I think it's very commendable. But aside that, when I was also going home, I saw a lady who just packed the car, just at Mawa. I don't know if that was part of the whole food bank thing as well. No, but so many people are yeah, so doing what they can in their own capacity. You know, you know that place is more like um, an outer community, the Mawa, the back road on the Twin Waters side. So mm. I saw a lot of um, also guys gathered on the road and there was this lady that opened the trunk and she was handing out food to each and every one of them. So I think a lot of people are beginning to know that, look, this period, people are very hungry, they're starving, and um, the only way to cop the crime rate is by making sure that people are at least in some type of way comfortable in this lockdown period. So it's commendable, and I think everyone who has the power and the capacity to do so should please do something for the poor. I mean, that's how a, an ocean is made, by like the little drops, drops of, of water. water. So anyone and everyone who can help um, should it's good to for people like him to put it online like we've mentioned we've talked about this so many times because there's been a lot of positivity coming out like Banky W and um, Ibuka's initiative um, where you know when you 
uh, share that out. It gives people even just ideas on, okay, so if these people can do it, maybe those in Bagada can also start there. And I know in um, Isheri, Magodo, people are already doing that. Residents are coming together and really helping. There's people who have gotten relief packages because their essays are obviously more developed and they can, they have a voice and they've sent those packages to other um, vulnerable places and things like that. So it's very important to like, you know, have that domino effect where, you know, you're passing, this goodness is, is contagious and that you can do what you can. I'm always going to stay on my stance that a lot of people are not affected by this. A lot of people can manage and would, and would be able to easily um, uh, storm this, this period. So if you have that capacity and there's a lot um, leftovers as well, which I'm sure there would be, um, you know, it's Don't really in so our <laughs> responsibilities to share that. Another thing I also wanted to touch on was um, this idea of like people eating a lot of food. Um, I saw an article yesterday on Twitter, and the lady was saying how like that, that that's an like a a term of greed sort of going on, and that we should minimize our meals and share. I'm not really in support of that. If you are thinking that people are not supposed to, uh, are then supposed to eat. Um, differently because they want to help others. I'm not really promoting that, but I think everyone who has a brain can use their initiatives to know when they have more than enough and share to others. Okay, for me, I would just like to remind those who have the capacity to do this and are in this country now with the same fear we have, which is basically not just COVID-19, security. This is one way to make sure to cut th those people are not trying to come into your estate or your gates to get things by force. So if you have the capacity to help, um, no matter how small it is, they are feeding 600, uh, 650 persons. You can do 100, you can do 20, you can do 50. But just make sure to reach out to um, the police or anyone that can give you a form of security so that when you go out to share whatever you have, um, you are not lynched or rushed in a way that you cannot handle. But yeah, um, kudos to everyone who is doing this and um, may God replenish your pockets. And then I think um, Cross River State has started handing out um, um, relief packages to their citizens. Uh, I think that's actually commendable as well. Yeah, we need to go on a very quick break, but when we come back, we have an interesting guest for you. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull, everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from my love we like. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping early. <laughs> Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Joining us via Skype on Tea Time this morning is um, Kunle Idowu, but you all know him as Frank Dunga. Hi, Frank. No drum rolls for Frank. They're looking up from home. Hello, Hello Frank. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Happy lockdown. <laughs> is <laughs> that how the you. greeting is? Equal lockdown, right? Same to you. Yes, uh, same that's, to you. That is now. Ah, okay. But sadly, we're not locked down out here. Lockdown is better than lock up. Okay, God. that's 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 an interesting <laughs> angle. So, Frank, um, one of the art you're known for is um, you using social media to make people laugh. Would you say this lockdown has affected you in any way? Nah, uh, I'll be insincere if I said it has. In 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 a sense, it hasn't really affected some of us that do content creation online, especially comedy sketches that play multiple characters or that have been self-producing before now. Basically, it's still the same process. And a lot of people do this. I'm a former one. I do a lot of production by myself. Uh, but if you want to look at the economic side, you could say maybe certain brands or clients that would want to advertise would be sensitive to this period and not uh, engage you commercially in that sense. Yes, commercially, Yes, it has affected, but in terms of creating content, I mean, a lot of people create content on their phone, so it doesn't really stop what you're doing if you want to do it. Mm. 
So some of, um, we've seen some new entrants when it comes to Instagram comedy, but you've been there for a long time. And uh, we've even have the ones that made way for a while and then they fizzle away. But you has been, you've been consistent. How would you say you stay relevant? First of all, like anything about life, don't let anybody deceive you. Anything you want to do in life, make sure it's something that you can do for free, even when you're not getting paid for it. Meaning, it must be something you are passionate about, something you do effortlessly, something you are not doing just because of the material gain. That way, you don't need to be prompted. You don't need to psych yourself too much. And you see materials and everything. If you are a singer, you see music, you hear music in everything, everywhere you go to. When people are seeing colors, you are seeing sound. Yes, you can see sound visually somehow in your mind. So it's about making sure that something you do naturally, even if nobody was uh, watching, I will still do this because I enjoy it. That is one. Two, enrich yourself with materials. Sometimes I take a bus, sometimes I go on and I take a walk, I mix with people. You don't say, ah, because now nah, you're famous, I don't want to. Mm -mm. So I, I go to the sources of my materials. I read a lot. I watch news items a lot to know what's happening in society, economics, business, politics, society. Just enrich yourself enrich yourself with um, what can inspire you and encourage you. And be around people that also find the flames of your passion. And my family has been trying to support you. My friends too, my colleagues. Okay. If Hi, I'm Frank. Mine. Um, it's very interesting that as much as you're very popular, we don't really know much about you. I didn't even know you were married with kids until you just did it. But So we've come up with a, f uh, a few questions that we can ask and make it fun, just so that the audience can know you. It's called, um, have I or, ha or never have I ever. So you just have to say, I have or I haven't. I'm sure you've like um, seen this game before. Okay, mm, so agree. the first question is, never have I ever used someone else's toothbrush? Maka, why? No. No, no. carry something, no. Not even Never. your wives? Mm -mm. Okay. Never have I ever denied a fart or acted like I wasn't the one who farted. I didn't deny it. I just carry <laughs> it. Everybody just look front. Right. So you just pretend like you didn't. So it's you I didn't have. do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's because I have. Sometimes, not only you, now your mind. It's all in your mind. Not only you, the feel say it's in loud. Nobody right. hear them. You just look. On looking, mind your business. <laughs> okay, um, never have I ever deliberately not paid after eating from a restaurant. Nah, see, eh? you see, see my face, see my neck. You cannot collect beating before I go into a restaurant. I, the last thing I do at the door is check my pocket to make sure my wallet is not lost. Right. I can't let somebody come and beat me. No, <laughs> okay, but have you mistakenly not paid? Like that happens sometimes. Uh, not that I did not pay. I think I forgot. <laughs> before, I, before I went out. Okay, last... Bro, they never can. <laughs> okay, last I, one. Never have no. I ever pretended to know someone who clearly knew me. Ah, why? You know, I like meeting people, so... Why would I deny? Nobody said they owe you money now. Why would I deny? I know you're criminals now. No, wait, you know when people can come up to you and be like, oh my gosh, Frank, and like act like they really know you personally, but you don't know who they are, so you just carry on and be like, oh, hi. And but you don't actually know me that they I will embarrass you. If you know me self, I embarrass you outside. You say, ah, long time. Even if it's just one I met before and I can remember your face. <laughs> no, I like meeting people. I appreciate it when people... It's, I think it's a blessing when people know you are doing it. I don't deny it. Oh, okay, well, thank you for playing that with me. It was fun. Hello, Frank. <laughs> thank you very much. How you doing, Frank? I'm not bad. No, no. How's your lockdown on your side? Essential duties, I know you have to go to the hospital. Yeah, or, or to yeah, the yeah. office. Not bad, not but bad. We're kicking. Don't, don't police people stop you and say, oh, where's your permit? No, media were ex exempted from the lockdown and we're essential work. I know. I know. Okay. We have a have you, have you ever, ever been in a situation where you are not in an official car and maybe in your car or in the bus and they stop you and say, where are you going? Don't you know about the we lockdown? We just show the ID card and then that, that's the pass. Let me take my ID card. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, uh, everybody knows um, Frank Donga to be like um, the, um, the comedian, the jovial one, the one who makes us laugh. But now let's talk about Kunle Do. Tell us three things that people do not really know about you. Three it things that kind of you've never shared anywhere. One. Three things you haven't shared anywhere, you haven't told anyone. It's not on Wikipedia. Just tell us about Frank Do himself. Um, Kunle Do, he, sorry. He's, he's, a, he's a musician. Did you know that? Mm. I play the lead guitar, the bass guitar, and the keyboard. I write, I sing, I rap. Yeah. Mm. He, he loves swimming. Oh, I love swimming. 
Okay, so you rap. And yeah, and I'm a pretty good cook. Yeah, what? I I'm a pretty good cook. I cook fire. I cook up a storm in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. So can you, you just give it? us like four bars since you're a rapper? Just rap for us real quick. I ask freestyling now. And freestyle for us now. <laughs> plus to the plus on live TV. Hey. Skype to the me to the you on air. Hey. Talking about the lock, the lock, lockdown. Hey. Ah. I'm not that kind of a freak about hey. Frank <laughs> ah. is, that, is that freestyle or you're just playing? <laughs> That sounded like the uh, guy in wedding party. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> Thank you, Frank, for doing tea with Thank us this morning. Thank you so morning. much. Okay, so that was fun, yeah. I guess. Um, plus to the plus on the I live mean, TV. I could do that. Don't come to the lock, to the lock, lock down. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had more time to discuss. Let's continue our conversation. Nollywood actress, producer, and director Omoni Oboli sends message to victims of domestic abuse using a combination of the TikTok app and Instagram. Have a look. Hi, I would like to order a pizza. Ma'am. You're calling 911. I know. What's your special of the day? Are you okay, ma'am? No, it's for delivery. The address is 104 Carver Street. Ma'am, is there someone I can talk to? Yes, I will also like a pepperoni pizza. Police is on their way, ma'am. Meanwhile, can you stay on the phone? No, thank you. Don't take too long. I'll leave the lights on. She shared the video on Instagram with a caption, My heart goes out to the people quarantined with their abusers. Seek help, call someone, do something, don't die for nothing. I'm praying for you. May God give you the strength you need to change your situation. End of quotes. Yeah. There is a lot of um, NGOs that are working on that, have been working on that. They're actually considered an um, essential service. So my mom is also in that um, industry. So we work for Women's Consortium of Nigeria that handles human trafficking, um, gender-based abuse really. It's crazy to see the numbers that have been coming out. When Before the lockdown, there were about 60 million people in database in Nigeria. This 60 is 60 million. 60 million people. 60 million people. Six zero million wow. people. This is including children though, okay. or females, women and children. Um, who have been registered. So this is not the part of the people who have not been registered. As of um, lockdown, it became 80 million people. Wow. So that's 20 million more people coming out to agencies around Nigeria asking and pleading for help. Um, stop with abusers and things like that. So it is a horrible situation. So it's safe to say situation. that half of the citizens of Nigeria are abusers. Yes. Pretty much. Wow. And you know what's Shame even more you. crazy <laughs> is that we have more women than men in Nigeria. So if you look at that population, that means most of our men are abusers. If not... So um, I just I would like to know, um, based on this database, there are no men who have also registered? Or we is, only is focus on, on women, women and or, children. Or if, there is, if there are men and they are, the, the data is not significant enough to even mention it. Mm. So mm. it's not a lot. Um, and that's crazy to me. That, and I, my heart really goes out to people like that. There's schedules that I know I, I personally used to work on with my mom once a month where you um, plan and volunteer to uh, kind of like feed children for the month. And that's the only time these children get to eat. That database alone was already 6 million people. So now I'm thinking there's 6 million children out there mm -hmm. that can't eat because we, we're not being able to continue that initiative after um, since the since lockdown, lockdown started. So our, our problems are very different. I mean, I've had conversations with people abroad and talking about Trump not really taking things seriously and they're really complaining. And I understand that, but Africa has a genuinely unique problem that is critical. And that's why I can't understand people who, are, who don't on um, see the value of feminism or any other type of um, mo um, movements that are critical to people who are desperate because we have a lot of them here um, it's good that she's done it in a more um, digestive way where she's put acting into the scene and broken it down but it is a real issue and people haven't actually stopped talking about it now they're trying to get um, the government to give certain people essential service passes so that we can start to like work on getting these women back um, away from Should people and we're trying to look at maybe shelters for churches like all these churches are empty mm -hmm. and schools are empty maybe we can start to put mattresses in there to remove them out but it's so hard to plan anything because um, a lot of people are restricted okay before you before you give your take um, there are numbers um, rolled out by the Lagos state government for these people so 
if you fall in that category or you're being abused in any way, shape or form, please call these numbers. Don't be quiet like um, Omoni Bully has rightly said. I think we we have Frank Donga back online. But before that, if I, do you want to add something? Um, I just want to say that to every woman out there that is stuck with an abuser right now, you don't have to die alone. You need to speak up like she shared the, um, the hotline. Just yeah, the make hotline. a call and um, speak to somebody and... Um, you don't have to let them know. Just do it discreetly and just save your life. Your life is the most important thing. Okay. We have stories from Ghana and other parts of Africa, but then we'll come back to you later in the day to have some more tea. Thank you for watching, and my thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Oluwa Shukaye and Ife Omai, and the entire production team. Remember, you can watch Tea Time on RL2 TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you has gone to my co-anchors as usual, and my name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.